Hey guys, how's it going? Chris here. I'm um, giving you a quick update on the on the Goldians. Um, you know, I, it's hard to tell because I, I had turned my light off in there, but um, just wanted to show I, I, I've moved most of my babies that have weaned out into the flight um, and they're doing really good. I'm trying to think how many I have out there. I think I have like 16 out here or 15 out here I think is what it is and then I have one hand so I did I did separate one of my pairs um, she did do two rounds this is the hand that was paired to my yellow back male and so um, I pulled her out I didn't want her breathing again see if we can get a little closer for you Let's see if we can do this there we go so yeah, I pulled her out. I didn't want her to breed again. Um, <clears throat> give her a break for the year. Let her recoup and regenerate. She did great. She raised seven chicks, or eight chicks actually. So, um, great results. And so, hopefully she'll be able to molt and have a good break and get ready for next year. So, just wanted to show you some of the babies out here. You know, we, we did good. We got... <clears throat> Quite a few blue backs, quite a few yellow backs, a few dilutes, some green backs, um, and hopefully all of those will have all three head colors and so, and white and purple breasts. So I'm, I'm really excited for it and, you know, excited to let them molt out and see which ones I'd like to keep for next year and which ones to sell off to some breeders that are waiting, that already have orders in for the birds. And so, just wanted to show you guys those real quick and such, such cool birds, you know, Goldians are one of my favorite birds, you know, not just because they're beautiful, but you can just mix and match with colors. Their temperament is, is awesome. You know, they're fairly clean birds. And so just, just really have enjoyed them. And so show you guys over here. Um, I have my blue back chicks. They just fledged yesterday, actually. So there's two here and one went back into the nest. And so, you know, they're, they're doing good too. So that, that gives me six blue backs uh, chicks that I've had this year from this pair. And so I will be removing the nest box with probably this next day or two um, so that they can't breed again. You know, I'll just let them do two rounds. You know, they've done six chicks. That's a lot of work for one year. And so we'll take them out, take the nest box down, let them wean the chicks. And then I'll put the chicks in the flight and the hen and I'll put the male back with some other males. And so... Here's my redhead pair. Um, these, this pair is split to blue back. So they're the ones from this bottom corner that I didn't have much success in. And so she just laid her set of eggs um, and has today's the first day she's actually started sitting tight. And so, you know, I cleaned my whole birdhouse and I didn't see her pop her head out once. So she's sitting really tight. She is alive, which I did check. I wanted to make sure, but she's not budging. And so that's a good sign for me that they're gonna raise these chicks and ha or sit on these eggs tight and raise the chicks and so you know probably here four or five days I'll candle them see which ones are fertile and which ones aren't and so down here I have my orange head pair let's see I don't know if they're even out um, yeah I'm not seeing them so oh the males up on top there we go um, they have one chick in the nest I peaked yesterday um, let me I'll, I'll show you guys um you know i i i love looking at the chicks but at the same time it, it scares me sometimes because i i don't want my birds to abandon their babies um but i'll pull this one out the chick's pretty far along it's about a week close to a week along and so we'll uh we'll let you guys take a peek here all right there we go it's nice and fed got a really big crop on them so it's a great sign so and you know this pair so i put them in there and and she literally laid eggs a, a, an egg the day i put her in and so she did lay four eggs but only one of the four was fertile and i, and I think that's because she started laying so soon so We'll let her raise up this chick, give her another round, and hopefully we'll have a little bit better fertility rate. Here, I just have my two males. So this, these two cages had 
um, my yellow back chicks and my green back chicks. I put all those out in the flight with the hands. I opened it up and this will just become my male flight for a little while. Start to let them wind down, get a break, um, and you know, start preparing for the molts in the off season. And so they, they've done great. My, my yellow back, he raised, what, seven chicks. And my green back, he did a, just weaned a clutch of four and, and did it most of it by himself because the hen had passed away. And so he, he's done a wonderful job. Down here, my last pair of Goldians. Um, so these guys had five fertile eggs. They hatched four of the five. So the, the chicks are about four days old. So I'm not gonna show you, but I will show you for sure the next video coming. Um, this is a, a redhead purple breast pair. Um, actually, I think that the hen's white breast actually and the male's purple breast. Um, I did check the nest box earlier today. All four chicks look great, big full crops, you know, and I credit <laughs> putting up these funny Christmas lights and draping them over there to turn on when those lights turn out. So it kind of, every time the lights turned on, it kind of signaled to the birds to go into the nest. It's time to go to bed. Uh, my Christmas lights would turn on about a half hour before lights would turn off and it seemed to work. They kept the eggs fertilized, or yep, kept sitting on them, kept them fertilized, hatched them out, and they're doing a good job raising them. So for sure, next video, I'll show you the chicks in the nest. They'll probably have pin feathers on them by that time. Um, but I'm really excited about this pair. And I'm a little bit cautious on this pair because they did hatch one chick out a couple months back and they tossed it. And I put it up with my yellowback male and they actually raised that chick. So I'm just kind of trying to stay clear of them for now, just let them, get the chicks at least a week old and then I can start playing with them a little bit more and, and be a little bit more 